guys and welcome to a new video today I have with me Sherlock Hund the dog style uh, Sherlock comes from an anime called I think it's Sherlock Hund actually Metante Holmes in Japanese and it's from the 80s so I used to watch that when I was a kid and I actually discovered recently that last year in November they made the Figma version so of course I was looking at him and I finally decided to actually get him. So he comes with a lot of stuff. So here you can already see that he has his car, which is what he's always riding uh, in the anime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom on his stuff and on him and I'm going to show everything to you. Uh, I'm also going to show you the box. So the box is here. And it's pretty cool, it has a lot of pictures of him, so let's have a zoom on that. So first here is the box, so as you can see I already took him out of the box. So here is the front of the box, which is nothing special. Then on the side you can see him uh, in the car. So he has his pipe and the smoke coming out. And then uh, you can see different pictures of him, so in the car from behind, with the gun. Uh, with a pipe and in the pocket, holding the um, looking glass, magnifying glass, and the faces because he has several pair of eyes. And so here you have another big picture. And on the top you have another big picture. And also at the bottom, another one. So the box is actually pretty cool. Then uh, he comes with so extra hands. Let me zoom a little bit more on that. So actually, that's three pair of hands. So you have like a a small opening, a bigger opening, sort of, and like two hands that can actually put the, maybe the magnifying glass in here. And he has closed fists. And he is also coming with different uh, outfit parts. So here you have the coat. So you put it on him like this. And basically, uh, this is a standing part when he is standing. And you have another one here. This is also for when he is standing, but this is like, oops, this has uh, open pockets. So when he is uh, having his hand in his pocket, you need to change to this open pocket tile and you use the extra uh, forearm and actually the hand is just this very tiny thing because normally the hand disappears inside the pocket like that. So I just put down here, so you have to change the arm and change the coat part. And he has that on both sides, so you have two different arms. Then the magnifying glass. So this is super, super tiny magnifying glass. And the gun. So actually he has a hand here. Uh, I can grab maybe that hand here. And this one has, so you can put on the gun normally in a way that he is also has his finger on the trigger so it's pretty cool because it's like he's actually really going to pull on the trigger and he has several pair of tiny little eyes so he can look in different direction. I haven't tried them on, but I'm going to take pictures of him uh, later. And I'm going to change the eyes so that you can see the different eyes on the picture. And then, of course, we have the character himself. So I don't know if you're familiar with the animation, but uh, it looks exactly like in the animation. So he has a hat and I can take him out of the car. I'll show you the car later. So let's see. So he has this uh, 
grip hand at the moment because that way he can hold the port of the car he's supposed to hold while driving. So he has a hat of the detective and he has his big long ears like he's kind of a wolfy type of dog I guess and in the anime he's always having this pipe so because he's in the car I put the smoke but if he's just walking you don't need to have the smoke going like sideways then he is wearing his coat which is like the coat he's mostly wearing whenever he goes out he's got his coat on normally he also has a sort of suit in the animation but uh, this is only coat and then he has brown shoes so he is very nicely articulated so you can move the front of his feet up and down because he needs to push on the accelerator of the car right then you have motion at the ankle you have motion at the knee I'm going to take off the coat so that you can see so this is a coat for sitting but oops he has like articulation everywhere so articulation here to move his leg at the knee here high here he can turn a little bit he has articulation at the arm and the elbow and the wrists and he can move his head and you can move the hat a little bit too so he is really really cool and you see the little hole here on the side of the mouse so that's where you put the pipe Yep, upside down, like this. Oops. And actually you can remove the smoke from the pipe. Uh, let's see if I can manage that. It's a little bit, it was tough to put it on, so I'm probably gonna need some hot water to take it off. But anyway, so here you go. So he can do a lot of things, he can hold his magnifying glass like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lot of different pictures of him with different positions so that you can like see him from close up and see uh, exactly what he is capable of, especially for the eyes, because I haven't checked that yet. So and also he comes with the core. So the core actually came in three pieces. You can remove this part, which is like normally what would control the wheels if it was a real car and this is for brakes normally and it's it can be removed too so but normally you will not remove the brakes I guess so when he's sitting he can like just hold both of that and his feet comes in the accelerator that's why his feet can just it's not straight he can bend his feet and then of course it like big wheels and those at the front so that's what it looked like and it's like this nice red seat and at the back you have like what would be the motor so it has this uh, cylinder for gas and it has a motor hiding here and you can see it's nicely designed because it could almost work it's not working I tried this doesn't move at all if it was real it would be so cool but those actually don't move but it's still nice and like the wheels actually turn so you can have him like run on the ground or somewhere it's it's pretty cool so that's it and this of course moves so that he can like direct the car so yeah that's basically it for all the parts it comes with so guys I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think of my new little detective uh, I think he's awesome. It's he's actually exactly like in the anime. I have been rewatching the anime recently, just because I think he's uh, like so cool, and it's so much fun. So I just hope they are going to make new character of that series because there is like of course Doctor Watson. 
but the ultra violets are a little shorter so that would be a little figma i don't know if they ever made little figmas and there is Moriarty, who is the bad guy, so it would be nice to have both of them so that you could, I could make like action scene with um, him running after the bad guy and Moriarty trying to escape. And Moriarty always has the balloon to escape, so I just wish that uh, if they make Moriarty, they would have the balloon just like they have the car for him. But since it came out uh, last year and they didn't announce anything so far in this series for this year, I think maybe he's just like one of a kind character. Anyway, it's still very, very good to have him. So I'm very happy with him. So uh, don't forget to give me a thumb up and see you next time for something else. Have fun whatever you do. Bye!